Today I'll try to make a Mona Ocean Cake based on the Disney new princess Mona. And when I heard it, the Maui God, I thought it's a New Zealand story. But it's actually from uh, Hawaii. So hope you will like it. For this recipe, we will need 6 eggs 275 grams of sugar Vanilla extract or vanilla aroma 1 half pack of baking powder 450 grams of flour 300 milliliter of sunflower oil 200 grand of chocolate chips 300 grand of um, buttermilk a baking tin of 26 centimeter and fill with baking paper first of all we're cracking six whole eggs high speed. <sighs> Beat it until our egg grow in size and getting fluffy. Adding our no. sugar. Vanilla extract Beat it again Adding 300 grams of buttermilk Sunflower oil uh, Adding baking powder into our flour Our egg mixture carefully our buttermilk and some flour oil mixture. Our flour and baking powder mixture, sifting it through. Mix it in gently. It really took a while until I clean up all the flour lumps. So the trick here is to put in the flour mixture gradually and just mix it completely until you put in the next patch. Otherwise you're getting the flour lumps. It's so hard to get rid of them once you mix them in. As well as uh, 
uh, buttermilk and the sunflower oil mixture just put them gradually and be patient here just keep stirring it until you get the perfect mixture without any flour lumps once this is done we can put in our chocolate chips and mix all in now we can turn our oven on to 180 celsius uh, or if you have a fan in your oven you can just use 160 degrees celsius and now we can fill our flour butter into our baking tin just put it in gradually So we're going to bake this for about 60 minutes and at about 45 minutes we can put a baking sheet on top just prevent our cake from drying or getting burned. So see you in 60 minutes. Now after 45 minutes we can see the cake is totally raised up. So bake. And now we can put in our baking sheet on top. We can put in this baking sheet. <laughs> now it's like a lid to prevent the heat going through to our cake. So it's not gonna burn later. Now we can keep the um, keep the cake in the oven for another 15 minutes. Here you can see our cake is ready. Now we just let it cool. Then we can take it out from our baking tin. While cooling our cake here, we can make the buttercream at the same time. And once the cake is completely cooled, we can take the form out and just leave our cake aside for later make our buttercream we will need first to make some instant pudding so we will need one bag of instant pudding powder and according to the recipe at the back of the package we will also need 500 milliliter of milk 40 gram of sugar now we're going to make our pudding we will take six tablespoons of milk and set the side. Adding our sugar and stir it. And set the side. Now turn our stove on to medium low heat. Adding our milk. It doesn't take too long until our milk start boiling. Cause see the small bubbles coming. Now our milk is cooked. Remove, turn off our heat off. Set of milk. And now we can put in our pudding powder. Meanwhile, we are going to stir our milk. On low speed. Adding our milk with the sugar mixture. And keep stirring it. Now turn our 
heat back on. While bring our milk to boil, we keep stirring it. While we are cooking the milk and keep stirring it, our milk become really thick, become like pudding. And we just keep doing this until it's completely cooperated and it's getting more solid. So here we are pretty much making a pudding, use instant pudding powder. So the amount of milk and sugar, it depends on the pudding powder you have. And so now we're getting about the correct consistency, then we can turn off the heat and let it cool. To finish our buttercream, we will need 250 gram of butter, softened, 100 gram of um, powder sugar, icing sugar, and the pudding we just made earlier. So first of all, we will need to beat up our butter. So beat it until it's significantly increased in volume. This takes about 10 to 15 minutes, so it has to be patient. Now you can see our butter almost look like cream and it's so smooth and loose and really growing size. Now it's about the time we can put in our icing sugar. So we need to put a bit by bit and mixing it uh, right after because I don't have a bigger mixer. So let's do this. So now we can add in our icing sugar, just sifting it through so we don't get any lumps. Adding more icing sugar. Then beat it again. Now we have blending all our icing sugar into our butter. We can add in one pack of vanilla extra or vanilla aroma. And then blend it in. Now here is the pudding we made earlier and cooled. Now we're going to sift it through to remove any lumps in our pudding. Here is our pudding after sifting through a strainer. And now it's at the room temperature, hopefully. And we're going to add in our butter mixture gradually. Just mixing this two mixtures slowly together. Now our buttercream is ready. Cause see it's really fluffy and the color is almost like white. And now we can set it aside and assemble it with our cake. I just took uh, our cake out. Uh, if you grease this properly, it shouldn't be a problem when you're taking it out of the tin. And uh, here we just remove the baking paper carefully. Uh, and you can see that all the chocolate chips we put in and it looks perfect. Now we just have to turn it the other way. Okay, if you have a cake,
plate it's perfect but I don't have one so I just use a chopping bowl and you will see me use this chopping bowl very often for everything and now we just remove the baking paper on the side okay now we're going to slice it half and fill in our buttercream for slicing our cake, I have a perfect tour here. Um, I actually bought this from Amazon and uh, only used a couple of times. And here you can see you can change its height. So it depends on, depends on the height of your cake, you can switch in this. Um, and sometimes your cake come out not even, not evenly. So you have to really measure the smallest, the lowest side of the cake. So we don't want to have a, a broken cake at this stage. So this tool is actually very easy to use. I'll just from left to right. So this wire actually cutting our cake through. So we just doing up and down motion and uh, it should cut our cake smoothly um, and we want to do this slowly carefully okay and uh, i also before i bought this tool i also used uh, actually a knife these Big knife you use to cut uh, bread. You can also use it here, but uh, very often you wouldn't get a even slice like this tool. And you can see we just slice it. So I'm going to open it up for you. And uh, it's a really moist cake, so we have to be careful here. It's good that I left a bit of space on top and the bottom. So you can see here's our chocolate chips looking perfect. Here the top part. I'm just going to set this top part aside. And uh, now we can fill in our buttercream. And we're going to take about a quarter a quarter of our buttercream so it's just roughly the size you would know and we just fill in the middle so here I just use a spatula because I have a, I don't have better tool to use here but it does the trick we just want to have a, a even layer of our buttercream So try to spread it out. I would say the middle could be a bit thicker than the side. So you wouldn't get any cream out later when you're putting the top layer on. Okay, just spread it evenly. Once this is done, we can put our top layer back onto our cake. So here we just trying to put this exactly same way. Okay, so it's even. Look, uh, all sides look good. Okay, now we can just slightly press it. So make sure it's setting good. And now we use the rest two third of the buttercream to cover our whole cake. So top and side, so everywhere. Now you can see I roughly spread out our buttercream onto the cake. Now we can just put it in the fridge and let it cool. Then we'll do the next step. While our cake cooling in the fridge, 
we can make a glazing for our cake. This glazing will be blue, that's the ocean for our ocean cake. So we will need one bag of um, cake glazing powder, 30 grams of sugar, 250 milliliter of water, cold water, and the blue food coloring. We will use this coloring to dye our glazing. Use the recipe on the back of your glazing powder and do it according to the instruction. To make our glazing, first we are going to put our food coloring into our water. So just one to two drops. So adding our glazing powder into the pot, our sugar, adding our cold water, turn our stove on to medium low heat, just keep stirring it until it starts boiling. Once it starts boiling, we can turn off the heat. Now our cake is ready, our glazing is ready. We can assemble our Ocean Mona cake. And here I have some biscuits I bought in France. And you can use any kind of lady fingers or, or any of these kind of biscuits to decorate our cake. Here you can see these ones a bit different from the regular ones, but they all would work. So all we want is this lady finger and we put this sugar side uh, outside. So we're just going to do this around our cake. So just to close it up, make it fast. Here is our cooled glaze and you can see it become almost like jelly and it's blue transparent and we were going to put this in the middle of the cake uh, so it will be like the ocean okay you can use a spoon and just do it slowly so you can have more control over where you want this glazing to go Here we still have some leftover lady fingers. We're going to crush them. So now we're using these crushed lady fingers to decorate around it. So it's almost like sand beach. I bought some uh, shark jelly beans or shark candies and we're going to use these to decorate our cake too so i like the blue one so we just put in one or two here or there in the middle almost like a shark swimming in the ocean okay i think three is good Now I also have a bit of those hard candies. Um, if you have some other shapes, maybe better, fits the theme better. But I'll just use a couple on our beach. This is just for decorating. 
If you don't have it, then don't have to put in. To fit the thing, the Mona cake thing, I also made a, a sailing boat with the mark of Mona in the movie. Um, it's made of white chocolate and I just draw the logo on it. We're just going to stick this in our cake. Hopefully it stays. Okay. Okay. Looks good. And if you like, you can also put in um, some small umbrellas, like beach umbrellas. Usually you put in the cocktail. You can also put in here or there just to decorate it. But our cake is done. just perfect um, you can keep it in the fridge and it lasts for a few days and if you find this not so secure you can use this kind of cotton wire just to tie it up uh, it's also kind of like decorations decorating it as well but here it looks pretty fast and uh, my Small sailing, Mona sailing boat looks perfect as well with a couple of uh, shark fish here and there. By the way, I love sharks. Um, it kind of, I think it does the trick, but it just looks too pretty for me to cut it. And I will ask my husband to cut it tomorrow morning and we will have it for breakfast. I will take a picture and put it on the thumbnail and so you guys could see it. But, but if you like this video and enjoy the Disney New Princess, please let me know and leave your comments below. If you want to see more videos like this one, um, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know. I'll make more um, Disney thing or movie thing desserts in my channel in the future. So. Thanks for watching. See ya. Why am I a better cutter? Because you're a better cutter. No, it's too pretty. I don't like how I cut it. So you cut it for me. Huh? Okay, let's do it. Soft, huh? Soft, but soft. Mm. Yes. Thank you.